is Joe Purdy. What might be your first episode is actually our 35th game here. We've been doing this for a while now, but this is our first actual recording of it. We're going to see how it goes. It works just like any other Jeopardy game with a little bit of twists that you will come to find out as the game goes on. Here are the categories for the first round of Jeopardy. We have Greek letters, followed by Horcruxes from Harry Potter, Infinity Stones from Avengers, Holidays, Scrabble Words, and Zodiac Signs. You will have to identify the correct Zodiac symbol from each sign. So, who would like to go first? Do you remember? I was zero left. No, I wasn't zero. Was I was, no, I was second. I won zero. Yeah. Julia won so much. You know, yeah. Okay, the end. Oh. Let's do Horcruxes for 1,000. For 1,000 Horcruxes. Here... We go. Retrieved by Harry Potter and Albus Dumbledore and destroyed by Ron Weasley, this Horcrux was third of seven. Oh, Hannah. Is our Slytherin's pendant necklace? Yes. Oh, I'll give, I'll give There's a you. snake I'll on it, it, it so. Yes. Smart. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see it. Oh. Yeah, Excuses. see? First, first difference. Jopardy is a lot more lenient. Okay, Hannah. Yeah. Your pick. <laughs> Uh, Horcruxes, ah, uh, never mind. Infinity Stones for a thousand. Jumping over to Infinity Stones. It was the first Infinity Stone introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe via the Tesseract that Hydra was after in the Avengers. Hannah. Space Stone. That is correct. Good job. Good job, Hannah. I was stuck. Racking up at 2K already. Zodiac signs for a thousand. For 1,000 Zodiac signs. The fertility goddess Ishtar and the harvest maiden are associated with this sign. Anna. Capricorn. I don't believe it's Capricorn. Don't know. Virgo. Virgo. Still have a one thousand dollar lead, and you're picking Here's the board. my pick. Uh, Scrabble words, thousand. For one thousand Scrabble words. For 26 points, to make the pressure between two forces the same. These are awesome thousand dollar words, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> awesome. To make the... Ready? Yep. Equalize. Oh. Equalize. Hannah, yeah, still your pick? Ooh, holidays, 1,000. Holidays for 1K. It's celebrated in September for Ecuador, February for Syria, and July for the United States. Julia. Independence Day. Independence Day is correct. Good job, me. Julia, I'm going to give you the points. There. Time first. Your pick. <laughs> uh, Greek letters for 1,000. Last 1,000. In math, it represents an unknown angle. Julia. What is theta? Theta is correct. I wonder what she's going to go for next. Right? Greek letters 800. Greek letters for 8. Let's meditate. Julia. What is Omega? Yes. Oh, I actually knew that one. <laughs> I knew it too. Omega. I tried. She beat me on the buzzer. 600. Greek letters. Greek letters for 6. Do this with your boat gently down the stream. Lily. Row? Row is correct. <laughs> Good job using the context clues. Your pick. Oh, my. I'm gonna go. I can't see. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with holidays for eight. For eight holidays. Daily double. Making a true daily double. Making a true one. Okay. First observed in November 11th, 1919, it's now a U.S. federal holiday under this name. What is Veterans Day? That is correct. I'll do holidays for six. For 600. By law, it's the fourth Thursday in November. Darren. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is correct. <laughs> uh, Infinity Stones, 800. For 800. First introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy, this stone was protected in the Nova Corpse vault on Xandar. Hannah. The Power Stone. The Power Stone is correct. It's charging, it's charging. It helps if you know the colors. I do know the colors. <laughs> I will do Horcruxes for eight. For eight Horcruxes. Unlike the other Hogwarts founders, he doesn't own a personal item that's been converted into a Horcrux, but his sword destroyed three of them. Hannah. The Godric Gryffindor. That is correct. Uh, Zodiac signs, 800. For 800 Zodiac. 
This sign may or may not be pictured with a woman holding it. These clues are from the actual show. I did not make these up, I promise you. These are hard. I'm bad at those signs. If you know the symbol, then you know the answer. But if you don't, then it's... I, I don't know. Libra. See, I thought it was. I think I every. I think it everything like is Capricorn. Scale, but I wasn't sure. That's me. Yeah. Like, uh, but, come on, Darren. Go ahead, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Scrabble words. Eight hundred. Scrabble for eight. A lemon juicer will do this to your citrus fruit for twenty-five points. Anna. Squeeze. Squeeze is correct. Nice, Hanny. Nice job. That was a killing it. Horcruxes for six. For six Horcruxes. This Horcrux was collected at Gringotts Bank in Diagon Alley and destroyed by Hermione Granger. The cup was owned by her. Hannah. Hufflepuff? How's a Hufflepuff? That is correct. I couldn't think of who it was. But it was in Bellatrix's vault. Mm -hmm. uh, Infinity Stone, 600. For 600 Infinity Stones. In order to earn this stone, Thanos needed to sacrifice the one thing in the universe he loved, his own daughter. Hannah. Reality. I don't believe it's entirely. That's okay. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> Hannah will still get the pick of the board when we come back, but first we gotta go through these commercial breaks. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. Okay, so we're back. We're going to interview the players really quick. But afterwards, we'll get right back into the game. Uh, we'll start with Hannah. She's in first right now. It says here that you are a Harry Potter fan. Yes, I am. So you feel pretty good about this round so far with the Horcruxes? Yeah, yeah. that category definitely. If you had to pick a favorite book, what would it be? Well, technically, I haven't read all of them, but so far, the fourth has always been my favorite. Big fan. Big Excuse fan. me. <laughs> the Goblet of Fire has definitely a favorite of no, mine. No, that one's good. Order of the Phoenix is just as long, but it's boring. Uh, Darren. Yes. You've been working on your backyard a lot over yes, this COVID epidemic. What have you changed so far? Changed quite a bit. We put a pool up. We put some decks up. Uh, I built my own bar. So it's been rather fun. Nice job. You gonna have a big party after this whole? Yes, and you're, yeah. you're invited. All right, sweet. Uh, Julia. Yes. Says here that you are a big hiker. Yes, yeah? I am a big hiker. You typically do that alone, or do you go out with people? I go out with my boyfriend. Yeah. Um, he's super into Jeopardy, actually. Is he? He really admires your work. Wow. Um, we just recently hiked uh, Owl's Head, which is notorious for being one of the worst 4,000 footers to hike. How long of a hike is that? 18.2 miles. Oh my gosh. But you got out of it. Good for you. Yes. All right. <laughs> Lily. Yes. Says here, you are very big into flamingos. You might even own your own flamingo farm outside in the backyard. This is correct. Yeah. Where have you gotten these flamingos from? Uh, from my kids. From your kids? Mm -hmm. Big and inflatable I've ones? bought some, but my favorite is Francis. Are those your favorite birds if you have to pick? Because I saw an inflatable toucan out there, too. No, it's the flamingo. It's the flamingos? It's flamingos all the That's way. That's what I figured. Good for you. Thank okay. You. We're going back to the game now, guys. He doesn't like me. Is it good for you? Good for you. <laughs> I am going to go Zodiac signs for 600. For 600 Zodiac signs. The Greeks associated this sign with the golden fleece. Hannah. Aries. I don't remember nice. what the answer is, but is I'm Aries, assuming. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Uh, Scrabble words, 600. 600 for Scrabble. For 23 points, it's the day on which the sun crosses the celestial equator, spring and fall in the northern hemisphere. Really? Solstice? Solstice. What is the solstice? I don't think it is. Hannah? Equinox? Oh. Equinox is correct. Equator was, the, equator was the key word. Uh, Horcruxes for 400. For 400. The boy who lived, the final Horcrux, accidentally destroyed by Voldemort himself. Anna. Harry Potter. It is Harry Potter. Good job. <laughs> Your pick. Um, Infinity Stones, 400. 400 Infinity Stones. First introduced in Marvel's Age of Ultron, it was predicted on Earth by Vision. Jared. Mind Stone. Mind Stone is correct. Infinity Stones. 
Closing off the first category, this stone is protected on Earth by Doctor Strange. Really? The time stone? Yes, that is correct. That was correct. the only one I know. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> no, I knew Vision was mine. You're picking the board. Oh, yay, me. I'm going to go with holidays <laughs> for four, please. Holidays for four. Make a date with your sweetie for February 14th, this loving day. Julia. What is Valentine's Day? Good. You should go on a hike with your boyfriend that day. <laughs> Maybe not. Greek letters, 400. 400 for Greek letters. <sighs> Julia. Sigh. That is correct. Oh. <laughs> that was cute. Thank you. Uh, Greek letters, 200. Greek letters for two. Yum. Pumpkin, apple, or key lime? Yeah. Hi. I would love this to work. Work. One time! <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Last. Go ahead, Anna. Four cruxes. Finishing off the category. Stabbed with the fang of basilisk in Chamber of Secrets, this was the first of Voldemort's Horcruxes destroyed by Harry Potter. Anna. Tom Riddle's Diary. Anna, you are killing it right now. It's Tom Riddle's Diary. You should have known that. <laughs> Zodiac signs, 400. 400. Sometimes the pair that represents this sign is identified as Romulus and Remus. Anna. Gemini. Gemini is correct. Jesus, you're killing it today. Nice job, man. Zodiac signs. You can even notice its horns on the top. Julia. Taurus. Yes. Holidays. Yeah, uh, Two hundred. On this holiday night, children around the world trick or treat throughout the neighborhood dressed in costumes. Aaron. Halloween. Yes. Is this gonna bug her that time? <coughs> Trouble. It's four hundred. Four hundred. Dance off with at least 27 points for this word for a coin-operated record player often found in bars. Really? Jukebox? Jukebox is correct. Nice job. Last one. Last clue for 200, please. This synonym for a pancake earns you 26 points. Julia. Flapjack? Flapjack is correct. Oh, awesome. And with that, Julia will upgrade to 4,000 points. It's still anyone's game. We'll be back again after these commercial messages. Arby's didn't invent the slider. We didn't even invent the sandwich. But we did invent Arby's. So in a way, you're welcome. Arby's, we have the meat. We're back now, by the way. Uh, we just found out Neely and Darren are tied at 1,200 third place. But it's still anyone's game. Hannah's leading with 5,800. Julia's right behind with 4,800. And we are going to begin the next half. Yeah. Okay. Awful August. You will see what that means in a moment. Valleys. Oh, the horror. I'm thirsty. Hamilton lyrics. And below zero. Burr. Ladies before gentlemen, Leanne, you go first. Okay, I'm going to go with... Let's try Awful August for 400, please. Sure thing, Awful August for 400. August contains this many days, essentially copying its neighbor July. Julia. 31. 31 is correct. I was so shocked when I found that out the other day. Like, August has always has 30 days. Okay. Hamilton I lyrics, 2000. To, to Hamilton lyrics, here we go. She sings, You and your words flooded my senses. <laughs> your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. Lily. Who is Eliza? Eliza is correct. Oh, I thought they wanted the song. She punch you in the face. <laughs> I would have yelled out burn. Awful August for eight. For eight, awful August. This famous painting was stolen from the Louvre Gallery in August 12th, 1911, and wasn't recovered until two years later. Julia. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Yes, I can't think of Mona Lisa. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Brie Larson. <laughs> 1600 Hamilton Hamilton for 16 almost picked four he sings history has its eyes on you Julia George Washington that is correct I did not know that I did George Washington going 12 home. Hamilton please he sings, death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. Lily. Burr with Burr Aaron Burr. Correct. 
Uh, no, we're not in the below zero category yet. You can't say that. Right? <laughs> uh, we'll do Hamilton for eight. Hamilton for eight. He sings, so what did I miss? What did I miss? Virginia, my home sweet home, I want to give you a kiss. Darren Jefferson. Jefferson is correct. Jefferson's coming. Oh. No, I ain't going there. Ba 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 on the horror 2000. Oh, oh my the horror. Oh, the, horror. <laughs> oh, the horror. Based on the Stephen King novel, this story was adapted into a film twice. The first as a one movie in 1990, and the second as a two part franchise in 2017 and 2019. I'm not even clowning around with you. Julia. What is it? It is correct. What is it? It <laughs> is correct. Gave you the answer. Hamilton, 400. Finishing off the first category. He sings, I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. And I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Julia. Alexander Hamilton. Good job. I'm thirsty, 2000. 2000. Be careful when chugging that your beverage goes down the right pipe. This flexible structure by the larynx should hopefully make sure of that. Darren. The, the, the epiglottis. Yes. Yeah. Yes! Oh, yes. very close. That was so there. strong. Ah. Oh, man. Ah. I'm thirsty. 1600. At Starbucks, size large is called Trenta, while size medium is called this. Ironically, the Spanish term for large. Julia. Grande. Grande is correct. All right, your pick again. Huh, I'm thirsty. 12. Are you now? This beverage has been known to give you wings, but there's also speculation as to whether or not it could make your blood pressure rise. Anna. Red Bull. Red Bull is correct. Oh, I miss I Raz Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Awful August for 2000. 2000. Here we go. On August 2nd, 1923, he passed away after having only served two years in office. To this day, he is the only president that has died in the month of August. I've never seen that dude in my life. <laughs> never in my life. I to be fair, this. I haven't either. I just can't remember his name. I do know. Who I don't is. know, but I can't think. But I know I'm supposed to know it because I've learned this. I don't know. He was actually in the Jeopardy game yesterday. Warren Harding. Oh, no, no, I didn't even know he was the president. No, I remember him saying it yesterday. <laughs> All right, below zero for two thousand. Two thousand. From sea level, it's four hundred meters down to the shore of this landlocked Middle Eastern body of water. Not very lively. Julia. Dead Sea. Dead Sea is correct. Below zero, 16. 16, below zero. It's the only temperature scale that does not exist below zero. Otherwise, energy theoretically wouldn't exist. Julia. Kelvin. Kelvin is correct. Good job. It's not Calvin, it's Kelvin. She said Kelvin. She said Calvin. <laughs> 12. Fair point. What? <laughs> An anion has a negative this. Julia. Charge? Charge is correct. Okay, so you spelled onion wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you did. 800. Oh, if your velocity is negative, then you are traveling in this unproductive direction. Anna. Backwards. Backwards is correct. Kids. She's not supposed to be winning. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I'm thinking. Please put that in the... <laughs> I've been rubbing my eye for so long. Below zero for 400. Below zero, finishing off the category. Oops, I just wrote a check for 1100 and my balance is only 500. I'm this far in the red. Darren. 600, 600 is correct. That was a lot more confusing than it needed to be. <laughs> I was like, my brain hurt. I was like... <laughs> oh, the horror, 1600. Oh, the horror. Alfred Hitchcock directs this 1960 thriller in which Marion Crane spends that night at a motel owned by Norman Bates, a young man with an interest in taxidermy and a difficult relationship with his mother. Really? What, Psycho? Psycho is correct. I'm going to kill you, Leanne. You're welcome. Don't be a psycho, Darren. You don't have my buzzer time. I'm going to go with Awful August for 16. 16, Awful August. Biddle, 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 biddle. The first daily double. Um, really, if sorry. you... I want to do 3,000. Okay, 3,000. There we go. On August 24th, 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius <laughs> erupted, completely destroying this Italian city, which also happens to be the band Bastille's biggest 2013 hit. Come on, you know this. Okay. 
Yes, yes. that is correct. Uh, what is Ponce? Ponce Aldus is well. Before it was added to the Gregorian calendar, this month used to be the eighth one of the year, as its name suggests. Julia. October. October is correct. Nice job. That was a guess. Uh, I thought of an octopus. Octo, yeah. I'm thirsty, 800. 800 for thirsty. In some cases, the human body can only last three days without this universal beverage provided by Mother Nature herself. Julia. What is water? Water H2O. is correct. This is a it can be a fuzzer here. This works better than mine. Oh, way better. User error. 400, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty for four. In the summer, this fruit's juice is preferred. In the fall, everyone goes for the cider. Julia. That was a, that was quite a... Oh, I was about to say watermelon. <laughs> Everyone was clicking their buzzer for like five minutes. And oh, the horror, 12. Oh, the horror for 12. Released in 1980, this film focuses on Jack Torrance, played by Jack Nicholson, who becomes winter caretaker at the isolated Overlook Hotel in Colorado. After discovering the hotel's dark secrets, he unravels into a homicidal maniac, hell-bent on terrorizing his family. Really? What is The Shining? Shining. Damn it, I knew that one. <sighs> I couldn't think of it. I throw a lot of tantrums. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> oh, the horror for 800, please. Oh, the horror for 8. Directed by John Krasinski and released in 2018, this film focuses on a family that must live in silence to avoid mysterious creatures that hunt by sound. Julia. A Quiet Place. A quiet Place yeah, is correct. 400, oh the horror. In this 2018 Netflix horror movie, Sandra Bullock plays a protective mom looking out for the lives of her children when a mysterious force decimates the population. If you see it, you die. Really? What is the bird box? Yes. Oh, I catch not the bird box. I All I know never... is the time I was watching it and YouTube came around the corner with bandanas <laughs> over your head. We'll go with valleys for 400. Yeah, no one likes valleys, apparently. Here we go. Valleys can be geologically created in two different ways. The first via rivers, and the second via these slow-moving masses of ice, many of which melted millions of years ago. Julia. Where are glaciers? Yes. I'm just going to buzz in and say icebergs. <laughs> yeah. 800 valleys. 800 Valleys. It's a brand of granola bars by General Mills, famously known for creating crumbs due to the bar's brittle nature. Darren, Nature Valley. Good job. <laughs> and if you're not a real uh, hiker, you don't have a real hiker, you don't have a Valley's 12. Full send. Full send. This will get Darren right up with the gang. Since 2014, this comedy series follows the misadventures of introverted computer programmer Richard and his brainy friends as they attempt to strike at Rich in a high tech gold rush. Can I Valley. guess? Is it Silicon Valley? It is Silicon Valley. Oh, okay. I didn't yes. know. I've never seen it. I'm just thinking Silicon with rich. Oh, that's all right, Darren. There's a couple. There's a couple left. You can do it. You can get to 3600 if you try really hard. 1600 valleys. 1600 valleys. Infamous for being one of the hottest places on Earth, this desert valley is located in eastern California, specifically in the northern Mojave Desert. Hannah. Death Valley. Death Valley is correct. I was going to say the Sahara Desert. <laughs> well, it's Darren's ready. Final question. This stereotype is typically associated with young, upper-middle-class white women who will, like, totally speak with a Californian accent. Julia. What are Valley Girls? Valley Girls. Totally awesome. Valley Girls. Valley Girls. Alright. <laughs> Dad, you cannot participate. Okay, what's my score? Darren's going to participate for ten, fun. 10-6. Ten Everyone, look at your prices. I will send out the boards in a second. While in the meantime, all of you think how well you know world geography. Uh, we'll be back in a second. Oh, if you have a flat tire, dead battery, need a tow, or lock your keys in the car, Geico's emergency roadside assistance is there 24-7. Oh, dear. I've got a flat tire. Hmm. Uh, yeah, can you find a take where it's a bit more dramatic on that last line, yeah? Yeah, I got it right here. Someone help me! I have a flat tire! Oh, it's good, good for me. What do you think? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on All car right, insurance. Alright, we are back. The contestants have made their wagers. Players, here is your clue. Good luck to you all. This country in the Americas has more than 125,000 miles of coastline, the most of any country in the world.
right. Let's see how everyone did. Darren is playing just for fun. Don't worry, everyone. He's not going to try to beat Julia here. Oh, I'm looking to make 10 grand. I bet 10 grand. <laughs> you bet 10 grand. Let's yeah, see. 10 grand. Darren, uh, I, drew, I drew a little world because it's world geography. And I said Australia. <laughs> and Australia. I, and I drew a boomerang. One of the Americas. <laughs> I don't know what America is. Make what? sure to show the camera. Let them know what your famous, amazing drawing yes. looks like. Yes. I'm, I'm very proud of that. Thank I am you. so happy to have had you here on the show, Darren. That was the best artwork I've seen. My pleasure. Do best artwork. Do you have to take my down? My do, I do I have to? I guess. $10,000. That's okay. Before I leave. This is season one of the show still. We're in debt anyway. Yeah, so. I like your little dry things. <laughs> I like dry erase. Next, we are going to go to Hannah. Can I still talk? I, oh, yeah, of course you can. Oh, okay. It's my <laughs> Um, I had 9,400 and I wagered 9,400 and I said, what is Canada? Canada was the correct answer. Oh. All right. So that. Those are good sounds from the audience. We'll get you to 18, <laughs> They're participating, I should say. What currently puts you in second place. We are now going to go to Lily. Lily is now, America, what did you America, put? I had 10,6. I wagered 10,6 and I put what is North America. Oh, this country hey, in the Americas. It is okay. You, you could be negative ten thousand right this now and owing true. us money. That is fine. That is absolutely fine. Julia, okay. we come to you. So I had twenty one two, and I was thinking of only South America. So I put Chile. Isn't uh, that the really skinny one? Yes. Oh my God! I answered. Oh my God! Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> look like I put a yes, but I just looked at you and said this country. Julia, how much did you bet? 10,600. 10,600, so that brings you down to 11. Anna is the winner! Yay! Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Jeopardy. Have a good night, folks. I can't believe I'm going to that stupid on live TV. <laughs> I said Australia. <laughs>